hello and welcome to episode 4 of my London A to Z street photography series. Now if you were watching last time you will know that episode 3 was the letter C and that was Canary Wharf. Therefore episode 4 is going to be the letter D but I'm in somewhere that's probably the polar opposite of Canary Wharf and that is Deptford. So I'm going to be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea about this place. I've, I've never been here before, I've never visited Deptford ever. Uh, the only two things I know about it, or I think I know about it, are one, the name comes from a bastardization of Deep Ford, uh, and the other is that I think it was something to do with the uh, Royal Navy dockyards here. Uh, but that's it. The Thames is about somewhere. Um, I've got no idea. I've got no idea where I'm going, I've got no idea what I'm doing, but that's the beauty of these things, you see. It's a good to discover new places and have a little explore. So, yeah, let's take a look around and see what we can find. So this, I think, currently, is going to be a bit of a struggle. Uh, I should let you know I'm on the, back on the Samyang 35mm f2.8 on my Sony a7R3. Uh, I got off uh, the Docklands Light Railway at Deptford Bridge. Now I'm not altogether sure whether Deptford Bridge is actually Deptford itself uh, but what I'm doing is I'm heading down Deptford Church Street I think it's called I assume over there that that's the church that the street's named after I'm just guessing uh, but I'm heading down towards the Thames uh, which is going to be the area I guess that's the uh, where the Royal Navy docks used to be um, let's see what we've got down here this is uh, roadworks and rubbish at the moment Oh, some nice features. It's uh, not this wall, <laughs> although actually, that might not be that bad a shot. There are some nice features down here, for instance, these arches, you can see those over the top, could probably get down there somewhere. those arches look they're quite interesting yeah no they're not they're not really that interesting actually are they okay moving on I don't mind this graffiti actually it's 
that cool, cool graffiti there where I just took a shot, but actually there's some quite cool, cool graffiti here as well. They're all along here, but the trouble is you're not going to get anyone... Oh, hang on, what about this guy on the bike? I was about to say you're not going to get anyone walking down it, which you're not. might get someone on a bike in the foreground which is okay I guess a strong smell of weed around here welcome to Lewisham I thought we're in Deptford maybe Deptford's in Lewisham they're nice what are those buildings Two conditions need to be met for these buildings. One, there needs to be no cars in the way. And two, there needs to be someone walking past them, but neither is... Oh, well, hang on. There's a guy down there. If he doesn't turn off, he might walk past them, but the trouble is we've got red, uh, we've got red lights, so we've got cars everywhere. Oh, it's not going to happen, is it? Go on, bugger off. No, too late, too late. I'm not waiting there for anymore. Nice little, uh, nice little scene though with the colours, but yeah, I'm not waiting. Good little day. like it more if someone was wandering through it as per usual. I like this building and I like these reflections on it that it's giving off. And what I need is someone to walk down wearing something light so it reflects in that door
here on. This is quite a cool little area actually by the by Deptford Station around the back. That's the high street there I assume that I just come off of. crazy about this scene is that three years ago today the World Health Organization announced a pandemic. Do you remember those days? Absolute madness. Other people saying we would never get back to normal. And look at us now. This is true, stupid eight Deptford Market. You just don't see this sort of thing anywhere near where I live at all. I don't think I've any pillar cases around here and how much they might be. Street photography. Street photography? Yeah. Where do you display yeah. it all then? YouTube. Yeah, I've got a channel, so I'm doing, at the moment, I'm doing London A to Z. Okay. And we're currently on D, Deptford. So, Makes why sense. not? Why not? Why not? So, can I get a photo? Go on, come on. There you go, look. I don't. Okay, wonderful. I'll put it on. I'll put it on. I'm just doing, I'm just doing some street photography and I'm doing a London A to Z, so I'm in depth at the moment. Yeah, okay, I'll put that on. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, that's Deptford done and dusted. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, there's a good lesson in this actually, because when I first got here, 
I genuinely wondered how the hell I was going to get any good street photography shots. And it's, it, the, the lesson, I guess, is perseverance. You need to just keep going, keep persevering, keep looking around, and eventually either your eye will come in or you'll start finding things that are interesting. So, um, you know, street photography can be had anywhere, really. Well, you know, not in a landscape, but anywhere where there are streets, you can do street photography. So even if you feel like giving up or you feel like you're not going to get anything, just keep going, keep going and keep looking. And those compositions and those shots will come to you eventually. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week. I'll be back next time with the letter E. We're ploughing through weeks, aren't we, eh? Already up to E. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go for that yet, but uh, suggestions as per usual, always welcome. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this week. If I get any more shots, which I doubt it, on the way back, because I'm literally by the tube station now, I'll show you, but I don't think I will. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.